Hello, so this is a course on network and graph theory being taught at the FAST National University of Computer and Emerging Sciences at Peshawar, Pakistan. We have moved to an online source of dissemination to the, due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So this would be one of the first courses that is being digitized and presented online by me. Uh, so I'm Omar Usman Khan and I'm currently working in the computer science department here at FAST. Um, I would say that uh, this course has been designed keeping in mind the average student of computer science and uh, data sciences and as such uh, you can say the selection of topics uh, ranges all the way from introductory material on graph theory uh, followed by a few aspects of graph theory that are applied in nature um, as well as we would be looking at a number of applications uh, pertaining to graph theory briefly. Um, so if we uh, look at the curriculum, the topics are basically um, mostly related to algorithms, data structures. Uh, we will be looking at certain family of, of graphs, uh, particularly trees, uh, as it's uh, used quite uh, often in algorithms for performance reasons. Uh, we will also look at some representations like cut sets, planarity, uh, we will be looking at coloring, spectral graph theory and so on. Uh, most of the emphasis would be made on the uh, application aspects of uh, uh, graph theory in terms of real world problems. So we would be covering some programming elements in this course uh, using our in-house graph API made in C. We will call it as uh, Nuces Graph and um, uh, basically it's uh, made in C. Um, and the, the, the whole idea is that you can get your hands dirty with the core data structures and algorithms in order to make a graph do its job. Uh, in terms of the course uh, assessment, uh, well, this is mostly related to our university. So uh, we usually have two midterms uh, referring to 15% of the overall weightage. The final examination is of 15, 50% weightage and uh, you will be getting some homework tasks. Uh, the overall weightage of that would be around 20%. In terms of books, um, mostly the slides have been adapted on the basis of uh, these three books. So the first book uh, is by Narsing Deo, uh, published by Prentice Hall India. I'm sure you'll be finding copies of this in the library. Um, the second book is by Dieter Jungnickel, uh, Graph Networks and Algorithms, published by Springer. And the third book is uh, by Douglas B. West, Introduction to Graph Theory, Pearson Publications. So as far as the first book is concerned, the um, target audience over here is basically uh, students of engineering and computer science. So uh, you will find that this book has a lot of application uh, oriented perspectives uh, of graph theory. Whereas the second book is more of a theoretical, uh, you can say, audience. So uh, students of theoretical computer science and pure mathematics will find this book uh, quite useful uh, in their studies. And the th last book, Introduction to Graph Theory. Uh, well, uh, this is also a very well presented book um, in the sense that if you want to look at the four uh, core fundamental proofs, uh, theorems, uh, etc. Then in that case, um, uh, this book is quite interesting to look at. Uh, so the slides have been basically adapted from these three books uh, and used in this course. Okay, so this is about the um, introduction to the course uh, and what we will be covering in this course. Um, in the next few slides, uh, we'll be looking at some applications of graph theory these applications will basically be related basically be a few problems of interest uh, so if you want to skip these slides it's really up to you and until the next video see you later